Good morning YouTube and welcome back to Ferris Farming Organic. Today we're finishing harvest for the second time. We are currently in Lake Park, well technically Harris, Iowa, up here north. Minnesota is two miles that way. And today is the official, I guess, quote unquote, finish of harvest 2024. So yeah, I did clickbait all of you guys in the last video. <laughs> Suckers. But yeah, a lot of the, the hired help either went home or went to Colorado to help out there. So there's not really a whole lot left to do here. I mean, me, Max, and Kyle came up here to uh, drive truck for the day. I think we're going to have to take two loads down to Sioux City. So that isn't... It's not too bad. It's definitely not ripping for a day. It's definitely more relaxing in the tractor. The amount of times I forget to put the battery on is kind of embarrassing. Now it's not that we farm that many more acres up here than we do down by Emmicksburg where we are done with harvest. It's the fact that we only had one combine for most of fall. They didn't get the second combine up here until maybe two weeks ago. I'm sure Max or Jacob can comment for sure, but we had three combines going down in Emmicksburg and they had one up here, so. But should be a good day. I mean, you're gonna finish, har finish harvest up, so should always be a good day. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna dump this full grain car on my truck and get headed down to Sioux City and hopefully I'll have to come back for just one more load. I think they really only have like that little bit left there on this field in the field over by those trees there. So they don't really have like a, a crazy amount left. It'll just take a few truck drivers and, and obviously the guys that come around the combines to get it done. Yeah, I bet you guys never would have known that. It takes combine drivers to combine corn, isn't that crazy? I'm sure you guys are super glad you watched this channel. It's really educational, huh? <laughs> anyway, on the way up, well, I fill this truck. There was not like a, there was probably less than two fields that still had crops in them, which is, I mean, I think kind of crazy compared to for the type of year we've had. And I don't think really anybody started very early. So I think it's pretty crazy how much, how fast crops came out this year, at least in our part of Iowa. I'm, I'm not sure how the Southern guys are going. If anyone on anyone that watches this lives in southern Iowa they can comment or if you live anywhere comment how corn harvest went in your area because around here it came out super super fast which is awesome but same time it means the corn wasn't very good so anyway we'll go park this in line and, and hop in the old semi truck That pile's a little bit big there in the middle. Should be okay. Hopefully that scale was right. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, just use a I can do that for you, Michael. Should have to come back up. <laughs> Shouldn't have to come back up. I don't know if you guys remember Max's video or maybe it was my video. We had steak the last day in the, the combines that I got steak as well. We had steak the last day in combines and I asked Mike and Jacob if they're gonna get steak up here and they said they didn't make enough money up here, so <laughs> I'm sure they'll get something up here. Also I just noticed you can't really see my seatbelt with this shirt, so I probably shouldn't wear this shirt when I truck because you should try to wear a yellow shirt like Kyle's wearing. Then the, the cops and the dudes can see your shirt really clean. It's a tip for you. I had really hoped on taking the drone up, but it is super duper windy out today. As you guys can probably tell, my drone would not handle this wind very well. And there's those stupid white trees. Windmills are only good for people who don't live by them. 
That's my thoughts on windmills. So dumb. And if someone wants to argue about that, <laughs> bring it on. Anyway guys, hopefully the mic picks this up decently, but this corn's doing pretty good. You can see like down the row, this is probably one of the, not better fields, but a field that you can really see it. You can see there's all these weeds, but they're so much smaller than the corn. Well, don't look at that one. So this is more directed at the newer subscribers or the guys that weren't out really around during the summer. But we, once the corn gets so tall, you can't really do any more weed control in it. I mean, we have that flamer, but you don't really do anything. You want to push the weeds back throughout the summer enough to let the corn grow tall enough to choke out the weeds. So kind of like if a weed, if you planted a, it's a pretty easy thing. If you planted a flower and a weed seed, not an actual weed seed, but like a weed, an invasive weed next to that flower, and the weed grew faster than the flower, it would block out the sunlight to the flower and it wouldn't photosynthesize and it wouldn't grow. So that's why we do those passes in the summer to knock back the weeds to let the corn get the sunlight and the rain and get all the nutrients and it'll grow faster than the weed. Now is that exactly how that works? I don't know. I only took high school whatever so I could be wrong but that's just what I've learned I guess. Anyway currently we're walking to where the combines are working to get some videos for you guys so you're welcome. No corn on the ground, oh, there's one. One little piece of corn. I'd say that's pretty good for the square foot. I mean, I can, I can go along the other sides where it's spreading. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well, this is a really easy spot to tell. We've been doing it this year, or we've been doing it. This is really easy to tell. If you go to the row, just outside of where the combine harvested, the corn, if there's any corn over here, it's easier, there's not as much junk. You know, compared to right there, all the stocks went. It's easier to check for corn in the first row that the combine combine next to. And over there is Mikey G. Jacob's in that one. I really hope the audio is decent on this. I've been trying to talk really close to the camera. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys are getting some really good up close and personal POV, POV shots. I might see if Mike will let us hop in his combine and ride around with him quick. I haven't rode a combine in a while. I guess he doesn't want me to ride with him, that's fine. I didn't want to anyway, Mike. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last load of corn that I'll be taking from a cornfield this fall. That's crazy. <laughs> I probably just jinxed it. I'm probably gonna have to come back up here now, so. All right, boys and girls, we just got home. It's about 5.30, 6 o'clock, and we're gonna go rip. But first, I wanna show you guys something. Now, I know we didn't get a video of it going in the field, and I'm still not happy about that. I wish I would've just went. Wish I would have went and just done it one day, but here you guys go. This is the plow. I mean, this thing is massive. This would have been so cool to run. I think it's one, two, three, five. It's a five piece back here, connected right here, obviously. You can see all that stuff. I don't really know too much about it. Um, I wish I could have ran it, learned it, showed you guys more of it, but. It's a 13 bottom rollover plow. And I think when it was working, it worked really good. I'm just not sure how long it worked. I don't think we did very many acres, so I don't think we have a great idea. But that's just the uh, impression that I got from it. But it looks pretty sick. And like I said, guys, I'm gonna get the fuel trailer around to make sure it's ready to go. And uh, take that to the ripper tractor. It was like, 80 degrees today and it's dropped down to I think it's like 60 now and the winds died down tomorrow it's supposed to be 80 during the day 85 and get down to 32 tomorrow night so that's supposed to be cold for a while yay 
but it's definitely starting to feel like winter or late fall. I mean, for a while there, it wasn't cold really at all. In the mornings and nights, it was cold, but like during the day, it was up to like 70 every single day. So, pretty crazy. Anywho, let's go get that fuel trailer hooked up. One of my biggest pet peeves is when someone puts a fuel trailer down or any type of trailer and puts the jack down to the farthest spot, like those holes. They put them down the farthest one they can get, and then they crank it like three cranks. So when I come with my pickup, my pickup's a little bit lower than someone else's pickup that had it on. I can't get it on my stupid. Mm. You know what? It's fine. It's just super, super, super annoying. Don't worry, we got it though. We're just gonna drive off with the stand in the ground. We're gonna have to put some duff in and probably a little bit of fuel before I go take the, the dude spot. So this is turning into a longer process than I hoped. What's up, buddy? We're done. No, we're not. We got tillage. <laughs> That's where I'm going. So you're I'm not done. <laughs> We're done making money at least. That's, uh, <laughs> tillage is easy, man. Tillage is easy. I'll sit on a tractor for 12 hours. I, I, I'll sit on a tractor for 12 hours, but when I get up to 16, it's not quite as fun. <laughs> See you, Kyle. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can really hear that conversation on the camera, but I like filming those types of interactions. It makes me happy. I would say the majority of the interactions that we have on the farm between employees is always pretty, pretty good, pretty joke, pretty joke filled, good humor, just a good group of guys. That is, of course, if you're a grand card driver, you're going to get yelled at because that's just the way things go. Sucks to suck. I'm just kidding. Anyway, we're gonna quick put some. What do people call on the internet nowadays? Government juice or something? You know what, comment your favorite name for what diesel exhaust fluid is, where you're from, and also what we should call the fuel trailer. I feel like it needs a nickname. Things just aren't as easy with one hand. Some guy's got a comment. I could build one of those with one hand. All right, we're at five eighths, which is an oddly specific amount to stop at, but we are gonna stop. All right, let's finally go rip. It's almost 6.30 and it's getting dark out. That's really depressing. Well, I don't know why you didn't turn the lights on. It's a whole lot easier to see when you can have lights on. What's up, buddy? What's up? You gotta be on YouTube. I gotta be on YouTube. I'll probably switch it out. I'm gonna pull really close to that fuel trailer. I'd rather me hit it than you, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, something I wanna show you quick. If you're running tillage, I like to put. You have it on. Okay, good. I, I got in when uh, Charlie was in here. Okay. So. Was he running the full auto transmission or the manual? Like, do you have to shift ever? No. Okay, good. I bought it. All right. You gonna head out or you gonna help? I can help you. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna back my pickup up and I'm gonna get a little bit closer. It's kind of annoying. You have to you have to hook up the batteries to the def uh, pump sometimes, which is really stupid. I don't get why we just don't put a new battery in it. Sometimes you have to hook the battery up for the def on the tractor from like right here, so you don't want to be too far past because then your jumper cables are barely there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, pull that red. Oh, I hate putting these on. I'm gonna have to set you guys down. <laughs> I think the one morning I got shocked like three times because someone didn't turn off the on switch for the death battery. And I hooked up the battery and just a little deep. <laughs> I didn't need any coffee that morning. Alrighty, boys and girls, I know how much you guys love not being able to see literally anything. 
So, we're going to call it a video. Um, thank you guys for watching the last official day of corn harvest here in Northwest Iowa. Um, it was a great season. It went by really fast. Uh, I'm sure we'll have like a recap video later on or something. So if you guys want me to do that, I sure can. Uh, yeah. Catch you in the next one.